Hi, Arya, it's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did a little time walking with Kromi and Ogrimmar, and we chose to start the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. And she teleported us to that timeline, and now we are in Warsong Hold. And we were here last episode, we did a couple of quests, we had to deal with some Nerubians. And today we are going to, I guess, continue questing in Norsong Hold. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to check the inbox. And it looks like we have a, a, hearse, carry a hearse stone that we supposedly lost, but it looks like we already have it. And it looks like we got a, a little anniversary item from the WoW dev team. So let's check that out. Got a quest called A Timely Invitation. The time has arrived to remember the past and celebrate our adventures across Azeroth and beyond. To commemorate the occasion of the bronze dragon flight is throwing a celebration and you are invited come to the caverns of time and present this ticket to gain entry to the party and yeah, maybe one day we'll uh we'll do that got some other stuff too we got a celebration package increases all experience and reputation gains by 16 percent until the celebration ends i guess we'll turn that on it's not bad we got some firework launcher I can't use that dice. It's not bad. You can just shoot fireworks all day. Looks alright to me. Let's see what uh, this guy Shadowstalker Barthas Speak has to say. Quickly. Barthas tears out the last page and rolls it up. Take this to Hellscream at once. In the meantime, I'm going to send a team to scout out the farms. Be sure to tell Hellscream that we're going to need a So yeah, this guy told us to find one of his, uh, his soldiers who went out to report uh, to find some, just find some information about the Scourge. And it looks like he found something brewing up in the farms to the north, which is bad. Bad news. So I guess we'll turn this into Garage. And we have a 16% XP Only button the strongest now. may dwell in Orgrimmar. What is the meaning of this interruption? Do not burden me with nonsense. Hellscream reads the journal entry. Is that all? <laughs> you may not have noticed that we're trying to win a war here, troll. I need all available soldiers as the primary points of conflict. This means that we don't ha have any real soldiers to spare for these minor incursions. Hellscream pauses to think. If Barthas wants reinforcements at the farm, Hellscream claps his hands together. He shall have them. Report to Barthas' assassins at the farms west of here. Let them know that reinforcements have arrived. Okay, so we can... I guess we can report that the, the reinforcements are coming. So I have another quest where we have to talk to... Uh, we have to talk to the Windmaster. And there's a bunch of other quests we haven't checked out either. I wonder if the Windmaster's up here. Wow, look at all these uh, Nerubar Sky Darkeners. It's too far away. So we came back down here. It looks like the Windmaster is just above me. And then to report to the. Reinforcements are over here. Look at all these, like, web darkness. What are they doing? Why is there so many? Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my, I'm done. I'm gonna die. What's with all these... Why are all these here? <laughs> that was so weird. Okay, well, I forgot my faint death button. It's F should have faint death there. Made a little mistake. I was looking for it. It's shift two. Still getting used to the hunter here. Well, the good thing is, is that the. Why are these all here, dude? I want to get it's like you can't even go out there. Watch 
chill. Let's probably get our pet out. Summon our, uh, summon Hawk Dingo here. So I guess we need to get to the top. I don't know where this Wind Rider is, I kind of forget. Seems to be a little far away. Or we can keep doing the, go over here. Tell them that reinforcements are incoming. I'm just kind of worried about going out here. I might get attacked by all these bats. How you doing? Look at this guy. He's getting destroyed. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we gotta go around. Guess we'll do the reinforcements incoming quest. And just continue from there. I just think we can get up this way. Yeah, that was our first death to those Nerubian bats. Last episode, I was like, yeah, it's so easy. And then I got beat up. So here we are, we're at a new camp. Found the Warsong I Farms outpost. This is it, Hellscream sent a single troll boy. If I still had a jaw, it would be on the floor right now. <laughs> Let's see. That's hilarious. According to Luther's notes, the Scourge is now using this place as a breeding ground for those monsters you see lumbering across the field. Ick, Horus shoulders. Those monsters were once orcs, Torn. We need more information before a plan can be devised. I want to, you to investigate the three sites that are heavily trafficked by Scourge. The Warsong Granary, southwest of us. Torps Farm, directly west of us and the old Warsong Slaughterhouse north of us. Return to me once you've scouted them out. Shadowstalker, of course. Yeah. Our time okay. Will come. So yeah, we'll, we'll do a little do a little thing here for Shadowstalker, of course. Take a screenshot of them here. This had better be good. There we go. So let's keep on rolling. Have a chat with Farmer oh, Torp. Oh. Just look at him. My beautiful Kodos are helpless to defend themselves against these filthy swine. I need you to buy me some time, troll. I think I can cure the Kodo of the sickness, but you need to keep the unliving swine off of them, else there will be nothing left to cure. Get out there and send some swine to their graves permanently. Go forth to victory. Okay, so we gotta slay some pigs. Hello. Soldiers that they didn't kill are being held in cages scattered across this farmland. Through some thiev thievery, we've managed to find a few keys, but we're unable to get close enough to any of the prisoners without being attacked. We need your talents by securing those keys and freeing our th the prisoners. Fashion the brains of the Necrolords and Aberrations and take their keys. Use those keys to free Scourge prisoners. All right. Beware the living. So we got to free some prisoners, scout out some uh, some farms, and uh, slay some pigs. Uh -oh. Looks like he almost that necro lord here. See, Hawk Dingo's dealing with them. I had to bring out Hawk Dingo for those bats. Probably would have destroyed them. There we go. But yeah, it's so weird playing this uh, this expansion with the updated graphics. Prisoner down. We scouted Top's farm, so I guess this is Top's farm. It's another Necro Lord right there. Get him. And one of these pigs too. This guy's using a tiger pet. I wonder where he got that. You know what's kind of weird about retail too is like our pet doesn't level up. Like in classic, you have to level up your pet. Did we get a key? There we go. 
with another prisoner freed. So this is the Tops farm. Over here is uh, the greenery. I guess we'll keep hanging out here until we just slay all the pigs we want to slay and free the prisoners, and then we'll go scout the farms. Oh, yo, got another key. I need to get It's weird because, like, sometimes you can't open up these, uh... It's like a specific spot you have to target. See that? Like, I can't open it. It's kind of weird. Miguel got it. <laughs> Pet's doing most of the work. Got some Kodos down there. Poor guys. These pigs are making him sick. another prisoner here. Looks like you got a point on the bottom of it. So him out. That's four out of five. We got one more to go. Then we just gotta deal with pigs. Bang bang. I don't have a target. We didn't get a key? That's strange. We didn't get a key yet. Gotta keep slaying these necrolords, I guess. Another one of these web guys. Another necrolord. Got a pig over here. I love that charge in. Looks great. Let's see, did we get a key there? I don't think so. So we'll just keep running around slaying these guys till we find one. I'm out of range. Got a lot of pig heads though. Making short work of these pigs. Yeah, it's pretty sad. If I was running a, like a run where it was like if I did, died, I had to start over, I'd, I'd be done already. I wouldn't even have made it to, uh, to level 15. Need a target. Some battle standards here. Let's see if this guy has a key on him. There we go. The final key has been found. Hunters are great. Just have to, you just get your pets to fight. There we go. It's the final prisoner. Yeah, my thing, stranger. And we just have to slay some more pigs. And go to these farms over here. Over here, I think this is the granary. A couple pigs here too. Eating, eating the kodos. Yeah, crazy how WoW's been around for so long. I think they're saying it's 15 year anniversary. Or was it 16? Maybe? 15 or 16? I think it might be 16. Came out what, 2004? Yeah, I think it's 16 year anniversary. That's pretty crazy. I think we're done with the pigs. We just got one more place to find. Do we have to get more scourge keys? Yeah, we got enough pig heads for now. Let's get out of here. We should probably mount up. Barely use the mounts here. We'll mount up and we'll go, uh, go turn these in. 
think we're gonna get level 13 as well. Speak, friend. I think you've got it, troll. Straight. What now? Each prisoner saved is one less undead aberration that we have to deal with, Trav Dingo. You've done a great service for Dark. the war. Yeah, level 12, level 13. This is far worse than what was noted in Luther's journal. They've got this place covered in scourge and are infecting everything they touch. Icarus nods. It gets worse, if you can imagine such a thing. Get to Getry. The scourge agent that's overseeing the abduction and transformation of the horde soldiers is undead into undead monsters is using the Northwest Farm as spawning glade. Shadowstalker Gentry has been stalking out the monsters for the past week and has gathered some vital information that might allow us to end this menace. Get to Getry and see if you can help him put a stop to the Scourge assembly line. If you'll get, find Getry at the abandoned tower to the northwest border of these farms. Trust no one. Find Getry. McGraw. And then bring him back alive. Take this riding snaffle to trap dingo you'll notice that i've placed a tiny medicine dispenser in the mouthpiece that thing will cure the infection as soon as the koto bites down once you've cured the sick out of them you'll need to ride them home they'll be weak so you'll need to gently direct them here bring my babies back trap dingo one last thing you'll got 10 minutes that's how long the antidote will remain effective inside the snaffle for the whole so hurry up here we got 10 minutes, we gotta save those Kodos. So let's get to it. So here's one. There we go, so we'll use the Snaffle here. We're gonna ride the Kodos, see if they can speed up. They got a couple of abilities, Stampede. So yeah, they're pretty fast. Just ride them here like this. Is that what he wants me to do? Okay, there we go. Is that it? Is that one? Is, 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 did that count? Oh my gosh, guys. Where does he want me to bring them? Oh, no. Okay, we'll save this Kodo. We got a couple of new abilities, too. Level 13. He's got concussive shot, I believe. Yeah, concussive shot. It's probably, yeah, it's right there at number four. So let's uh, let's try this again. For some reason these Kodos didn't. Maybe I have to press one when they're home. Stuns the enemy, rendering them able. Deliver Kodo. Okay, I actually got to press two to deliver it. There we go. That's one. It's nice that they speed up a bit. Also want to try to sell some stuff. Got a good mount for that. Got the big long boy mount. I can ride it here. Put that on the bars. There we go. We got our long boys. So when we want to sell stuff, don't have to go back to town. If we want to put some stuff on the auction house, we don't got to do that either. Also thinking about getting uh, herbalism and mining on my uh, roll. Because that'll allow me to make a little bit of gold. I can herb and mine a bit. And uh, you also get XP when you herb and mine. In, uh... In, uh, retail. You don't get that in classic. Okay, where am I going? I'm already going the wrong way. I think they're over here, right? Great, now I forget where I'm going. Yeah, it's right over here. There we go. Yeah, you get XP when you mine and herb, so I think that might be a good idea. There we go, we delivered two. Got seven minutes to get six more. There's the big long boy. I've seen things that would scare you. Can't get you this line shallow. anymore. It's kind of crazy. I don't have my add on to sell trash fast. That's not good. Gotta find some more Kodos along the way. There's one that pig's eating it. Not everything in the ocean. Please. 
Yeah, long boy mount's pretty cool mount. Uh, you can't get it anymore. Unless you try to get it off of the black market auction house when it comes up. Pretty expensive mount, 5 million gold. And the cool thing about it is that it has an auction house on it. And that's one, I'm not really a mount collector type of guy. But I do enjoy the utility mounts. So if a mount has like a utility... A utility option for it. I always really want to get it. It's kind of like the Yak from Mr. Pandaria. That's like 100k. At the time when it came out, it had a... Uh, Greetings, you were able to get, um, ma'am. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. You were able to get, uh, you were able to reforge your gear. With, some better story. with that mount. I got that mount too. And then they changed it because reforging went out of the game. So what you can do with the, the yak mount now is you can transport out in the world whenever you want. This mount's like, it's a cool mount. It's a cool looking mount. It's really big. It's kind of like the problem with it, because I think it's a little too big, but I think it's supposed to be like that, because you kind of want people to you want people to look at you if you have a five million gold mount. So I guess that's why they made it really big. But I don't enjoy it for like riding around. I think it's just too big. And that's just me. so. We need a couple more of these guys, and then we got to go meet Get. on going around on a long boy here. Step closer and don't mumble. Get rid of more of these, more of this garbage. That's all these guys seem to sell is trash. It's ringing me. Oh, it's a quest item. Okay, so we'll keep running around. We're looking for, uh... I leave! I was done talking to you. We'll see you can go in the auction house here. Ancient to trade? So you can see. Needs to be at least two centuries we don't have really old. anything to sell. We can actually check and see how much tough jerky is while we while we run around. Looks like nobody's selling tough jerky. If you find anything Not exotic, suppressed. bring it to me. But once we get herbing and mining, while we're out in the world, what we can do is we can start, uh... We can sell our herbs if our bags get a little too, uh, too heavy. Which is pretty useful. Let's, uh, get out of here. And we'll run up. Looks like I get charged. Gonna find out where these guys are again. There they are over here. I wonder if these guys, if this Kodo can attack. You can see stun. Yeah, it's just a big stun. Not bad. There's a couple more Kodos over there, so we're gonna get those. Looks like, looks like this other player was thinking the same way. Slay a couple pigs. We got three minutes on our timer to get two Kodos. Shouldn't take us that long. Yeah, our gold's going up a little bit. We're at 12 gold right now. That's not that much in retail. Retail, uh. Gold is a little bit inflated, I think. But they've been trying to uh, put some gold sinks into the game. The biggest gold sink is that uh, that long boy mount. It's called the Mighty Caravan Brutosaur. But people still have gold, maxed out gold and all that crap. I play in the auction house. Here we go, this is the last Kodo we need. That's a cool thing, though. If you're into making gold, you can buy uh, you can buy game time with it. What do you need? Mounts, all Blizzard currency stuff. Other games that Blizzard makes. So gold making, gold make is kind of cool die. if you're into it. I think it's fun. I think gold making's all right. It's not bad. I think it's interesting. That's for sure. So let's head over to uh, to Getry. With it, with he wants. Yeah, gold making's pretty fun in it's retail. It's like a ch like what I think gold are making is, and, and wow, it's like a chill, relaxing thing to do. It's kind of like farming trans for like transmog. Just go to like a raid, you know, 
get some gold. You know, just chill out, listen to music. I don't think we'll be making much gold uh, off of these quests, though. It's going to be big when we get our first 100 gold. Right now, we're saving up on this character. We only have 12 gold right now, but I think if I get mining and herb, I'll be able to save up to get to get my mount speed increased. So here we go. We found Shadow Stalker Getri. Getri looks over. This is all Icarus could send. Everyone's disappointed when they see me. This is madness. How do they expect us to take on a Scourge Necrolord and an unknown number of his minions? Getri sighs. If Icarus sent you, he must think that you are capable of great feats. Perhaps you will call down a miracle today, eh? When you're ready, we will descend on the face of Veritas. If we make it out of this mess in one piece, report back to Hellscream and Warsong Hold. Okay, so we'll do that. We get a little so there's Mr. Veritas. I think uh, Hog Dingo's gonna, gonna do a good job against him. So here we go. Let's follow this rogue down here and we'll deal with this necro lord. Might be a tough fight. I think it might be a tough fight for us, guys. For some reason I can't uh I can't attack that. Can't target. attack him. Is this it? Is this all the mighty horde could muster? <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Who's that? And kill a necro lord. I've never understood your type, the hero. Why won't you just let go? Why do you fight the inevitable? The Lich King cannot be stopped. Accept it. This world is coming to an end. Let it burn. Take him away and prepare him for a reanimation. I'll rip your shriveled heart out with my bare hands before any harm comes to Trav Dingo Necromancer. This world that you seek to destroy is my home. We will fight you with every fiber of our being until we are nothing more than dust and debris. We will fight until the end. Then you are a fool. A fool who is about to end you, Necrolord. There will be nothing left of you or for the Lich King. And he rides a bunch of, oh my gosh, look at this guy. This guy's whirlwinding like crazy. His aberrations are getting destroyed. Why can't we fight? Can we help him? Well, we can. Well, we can help him. Just save his life. Looks like, looks like we're fighting Veritas now. Pretty strong guy, this Veritas guy. Is that Sour Fang? Oh, Sour Fang's the boss. Real hero of the Horde, man. Whenever the Horde's really in trouble, Sour Fang comes to, to save the day. Okay, we got another, another warrior in here. Horn warrior named Bad Horn. <laughs> Funny name. Bad Horn's going at him. I don't think we would have been able to beat this guy solo. It's like... It's like... If you get him to run away... I don't want him to die. I think we'll be okay, though. Got him. Wow, Hawk Dingo was pulling threat off of Sour Fang. I am Sour Fang, brother of Broxigar. You should return to Warsong Hold now, friend. Hellscream will surely want to hear what just happened of Sour Fang. All right. Well, there we go. So I guess we'll head back to Warsong Hold, and we'll uh, see what's going on. As usual, Hell Hellscream is so dumb. That's the problem with Hellscream, he's just dumb. But he's tough. Some of his ideas actually work. Like, sometimes you just gotta roll the enemy over. But 
It doesn't work all the time. So here we are. We're going back to uh, Warsong Hold again. Just gotta jump down here. We'll jump down. Do a little disengage. the entrance here. Probably mount up. Faster. Yeah, that's another problem with these mounts. They don't fit. Mount never fits anywhere either. It's a cool mount though, nonetheless. Here we are, Gar Garage Hellscream, Overlord of Warsong. Live by these words, Lok and you return victorious. Victory, just as I death. thought. I told Sour Frang you'd be fine. <laughs> you sure did. Hellscream grunts knowingly. Perhaps this will show that old dog that he doesn't have all the answers, eh? Ah, <laughs> oh, Hellscream, dude. Sour Frang saved our life, which is funny. So we got a neck here. What do we want to get? The neck. Yeah, we don't have a neck, so yeah, we're taking the neck. There we go, we got a new neck, some new pants. Not too shabby. And then, uh, I guess we'll, uh, keep going here. I guess we'll have a little chat here with Hellscream. Well, you've done much to secure our foothold in these frozen wastes. Other dangers still lurk in the shadows. I want you to assist Warden Nork Blood Frenzy stationed at the internment camp just outside immediately southwest of Warsong Hold. Seek him out and offer your assistance for prisoner transport and exchange. You are, tris you are dismissed, Trapping. Okay, so I guess we'll get, we'll get to that. See what he has to say. I still have to chat with, uh, that flight master guy. Looks like we got some prisoners here. Alliance prisoners, so they could they could be helping us against the Lich King. Blood and thunder. Dark scoffs, prisoners. These aren't prisoners, they're cowardly dogs. Just look at them. Did you know that without exception, every single one of these yellow bellied soldiers came to our gates and surrendered their arms and armor? From what we've been able to gather, these men and women are discharged and sent back to their homes if captured by us. Nork spits. Pathetic. Alright, so I guess next episode we're going to be doing something with these prisoners. I'm going to call it now before the episode gets a little too long. But that is the end of this episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.